you want to see this the next time you log on to Fortnite, make sure to like and subscribe. If you don't, this is what your account will look like. Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3's first update is arriving in the next coming days and we have everything that will be included from brand new vehicles to brand new Naruto collaborations and much much more so make sure you are staying tuned to the very end of this video we're going to be going over everything that will be included in the 21.10 update. Just quickly in case any of you guys are new we do get 5 new and all subscribers every single day inside of the brand new item shop so if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift all you have to do is drop a like on this video make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID and what item from the item shop you would like to have gifted to you on your account. Well, make sure you are keeping an eye out for the secret word hidden in this video to give you an even better chance of getting a gift from me inside of the item shop. Well, if you have been picking up anything for yourself, do consider using my support credit code YTRA as it greatly supports the channel and allows me to do even more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag ad. Here's a shout out to five of you guys using my code. I greatly appreciate it. If you are using it, make sure to let me know down in the comments and you could be shown up in the very next video. But all of that being said, let's get straight into it. At the time of recording this video, we are going to be getting the brand new Spider-Man Zero outfit inside of the item shop just a few hours time. So obviously, if you guys weren't able to get your hands on any of the codes for that skin, you will actually be able to pick it up in the item shop in just a few hours. Still, we'll be doing giveaways for codes for that skin as well. So if any of you guys obviously can't afford it or don't have enough V-Bucks on your account, sure to let me know down in the comments as I will still be gifting out a few of those codes to a few of you lucky subscribers. But only that the skin will be arriving inside of the item shop alongside with a brand new emo and also a brand new harvesting tool which was actually decrypted yesterday and we can see it up on screen right now brand new harvesting tool will be the brand new web slicer pickaxe and then we do have the spidey's landing emo which actually do look pretty cool and obviously if you guys own the skin from redeeming a code you'll be able to pick up the rest of the bundle at discounted price obviously considering you do own the skin already and the only thing you are missing is the harvesting tool and the emo sure let me know down in the comments are you guys going to be needing any of these Spider-Man Zero codes or do you like to have it gifted to you on your Fortnite account? The 21.10 update which is obviously going to be arriving on the 21st of June will be adding in a brand new vehicle to the game as we do know that we're going to be getting motorbikes really soon. Hypex did leak at the very start of the season and more or less this is going to have the exact same animations as riding animals as you can obviously do that here inside of season 3. We'll be able to have a passenger on this brand new motorbike vehicle which is definitely pretty cool as well and you also will be able to boost with it and also drift. Firstly, I am super excited to see this brand new vehicle arrive in the game as I'm hoping we are actually able to do some stunts with this vehicle as that is one kind of thing we are kind of lacking with when it does come to vehicles inside of Fortnite. Well, I want to know what you guys think about this brand new motorbike vehicle that will be arriving inside of Fortnite most likely with the 21.10 update. It has not been confirmed whether or not this will be included in the 21.10 update but we do know that the brand new summer event will actually be called No Sweat Summer. Well, it does look like we're going to have a lot of brand new creative maps which will be giving out tons of XP as it does look like we're gonna actually have to do some quests on specific creative maps once these challenges go live. Just like all previous summer events we do get here inside of Fortnite, it looks like we actually will be able to get a ton of brand new free rewards. Normally do include everything from the likes of brand new back blings, emotes, spiders, and everything of the sort. So that's definitely going to be pretty cool. You guys will be able to get a ton of brand new free rewards in the upcoming days. Who knows, we may even be seeing a brand new free skin that we would be able to get, which I definitely do think would be pretty cool considering normally we only ever see free skins given to us during the Winterfest events. Well, with the brand new summer event, it also looks like we may be seeing the addition of Spider-Man Maz Morales. We did see a Tom Holland version of Spider-Man arrive for the Winterfest event, which obviously happened a few months ago. Well, this time around, it looks like we could be seeing Spider-Man Maz Morales be a part of this upcoming event, which I definitely do think would be super sick to see in-game. Now, a ton of you guys have been super excited to finally see Maz Morales finally arrive in Fortnite, considering I know a lot of people like the color of his suit a lot better than the original Spider-Man. Well, when Spider-Man Miles Morales arrives in the game, it looks like he also will have two brand new edit styles. One of them being his original Spider-Man suit. The second one most likely being his streetwear suit, which obviously you can see up on screen right now, which is more or less a makeshift version of his suit that he just kind of slaps together in a few minutes. I have to say, I'm definitely super excited to finally see the addition of Spider-Man Miles Morales here inside of Fortnite. As well as that, we do actually have a specific Marvel Zero War comic book, which you can see right here. It's actually a limited edition cover of this comic book. And as you can see, we do have Miles Morales on the cover along 
alongside a Hulk Meowsels. Well, it definitely looks like we will be seeing this brand new upcoming Miles Morales outfit arrive really soon. Well, to top it all off, it looks like we have just got the announcement that we're going to be seeing a brand new Naruto collaboration with the 21.10 update, which is definitely pretty cool, as I know there's a ton of Naruto fans out there. Obviously, we did have the very first one inside of Chapter 2 Season 8, as obviously we did have four different skins. They're definitely super cool to see in the game, and it looks like we have actually gotten our very first look at the four brand new Naruto skins that will be arriving in the game. Well, I do apologize if I do pronounce any of these names wrong, but here's an image of all of the characters, and it does say that they are going to be Itazi, Gara, Orishimaru, and Halso Hinata. Yeah, I probably did butcher some of those names, I do apologize, I don't actually watch Naruto myself. It is still pretty cool that we're finally going to be seeing the addition of more Naruto skins inside of Fortnite, so make sure to let me know down in the comments, are you guys excited to see even more Naruto collaborations arrive here inside of Fortnite? The next update, we should also be getting the addition of even more Marvel Zero War skins, as it does look like we're going to be getting a brand new Iron Man outfit really soon in the form of the Iron Man Zero outfit. We do know that the second issue of the Marvel Zero War comic book will be releasing really soon, and that will be including a brand new redeemable code at the back of the issue that will be including Iron Man Stark 7 weapon wrap. Once that obviously arrives inside of the item shop, it will be a part of a brand new Iron Man skin bundle, which obviously will include the outfit alongside with the weapon wrap and most likely a harvesting tool. Consider this is going to be an original Fortnite design, it's obviously going to look super sick, and it's definitely going to be some good news for any of you guys who did miss out on the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass. We did actually have an Iron Man skin inside of that, which actually came in the form of the Tier 100 outfit. Well, obviously with Chapter 3 Season 3 having a major vibing theme, which obviously is a super cool theme in my personal opinion, as this season is honestly one of my favorites. It does look like we're going to be seeing a brand new Rift Tour concert take place over this summer, which is definitely pretty cool, as it does look like Fortnite are planning on having a brand new concert in-game every single year. It does look like the brand new concert will actually be for Juice World, which is definitely super cool. I'm actually a big fan of Juice World's music, so I'm definitely excited to see this. Juice World's manager has been talking a lot with Epic Games about a upcoming collaboration in-game. Well, Juice World's manager actually went live on Instagram, and he did say that he's not allowed to talk about possible collaborations with Fortnite, otherwise he will get in trouble. This indicates he signed an NDA, and it looks like it's coming soon. Honestly, this whole season would be a perfect season to see a brand new concert actually take place in-game, as obviously we do have the Rave Cave, which definitely looks like it could be a location to have this brand new upcoming concert. And obviously, with Juice World as well, I'm pretty sure a lot of Fortnite fans are definitely a fan of Juice World as well. The brand new Juice World concert, that could obviously mean a brand new Juice World skin that we could be seeing arrive in game, as we normally see a skin for every single one of these concerts that arrive in the game. Obviously, we do have Marshmallow, we do have Travis Scott, and we also have Ariana Grande. Let me know down in the comments, are you guys excited to see a brand new concert arrive in Fortnite in the form of an upcoming Juice World one? The 21.10 update as well, we should also be getting the addition of all of the bonus rewards, considering we still have about four pages, which we still don't know what the rewards are going to be yet. But we actually do have a look at some of the page two rewards, which are currently locked in game right now. And it looks like for the very first one, we're going to have a brand new Summer Strider version of the Eevee skin. Or let's just change the color of her pants into blue, which I definitely do think is a lot better, considering blue is my favorite color. And moving on, we're going to be getting a brand new masked version of the Adira skin, which obviously is inside of Battle Pass, which is still a pretty cool edit style, but I'm not 100% a fan of this as a hidden reward. Considering you actually won't be able to see the face in game, but still pretty cool that this will be included on the page two of the bonus rewards. For the third reward, it looks like we're going to be getting another edit style for the actual Stormfarer skin, which obviously is in the Battle Pass as well. Well, one of the actual sprays that you do get for this skin actually is going to be showing us unreleased edit style. As you can see, we have the skin here, but he's actually wearing a white suit, which is not available in game, and it looks like we're going to be seeing a white version of him, obviously in the bonus rewards as well. For the final two rewards that will be on page two, we're still not entirely sure, but I definitely would be expecting to see something arrive for Darth Vader, as it could be even a brand new Anakin Skywalker edit style, possibly even an unmasked Vader, which I definitely do think would look super cool, as he actually did show us his face inside of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Then, obviously, we will have the final three pages of the bonus rewards, which most likely will be including all of these super level edit styles, as we get those every single season, and they're definitely some of the best edit styles inside of Battle Passes. We normally have three different tiers of these super levels, as obviously the first one you're going to be getting in between the levels of 140 and 160. For the tier two, you're going to be getting them in between the levels of 160 and 180. And then for the final tier, which most likely will be something gold related, as we've seen that with the previous seasons, will be in between the levels of 180 and level 200. Curious? Make sure to let me know down in the comments, what level are you here inside of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3? I do know a lot of people were actually 
very annoyed about the fact that leveling up here inside of season 3 is a lot harder than it was last season. In addition of the brand new summer event and it also was confirmed we will be seeing even more challenges added with the 21.10 update it looks like it will be easier to level up when the new update arrives. Fortunately that is everything we do know about the 21.10 update arriving on the 21st of June so make sure to let me know down in the comments are you excited for it? Well for the secret word of today's video it's going to be the word summer. If you did watch all the way to the very end make sure to drop that word down in the comments alongside with your epic games id and if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll talk to you all in the next one peace